puppies have had some more challenges this week. At first I started putting little cans in there, just a couple at a time, and then just kept adding more and more. Just to get used to the idea of jumping in on the strange things and things that make noise, whatever. Uh, this morning, I added these. So they're going to have to come out of the gate, come around through here, over to here. So we'll see how they do on that. I'm still softening their food. I probably really don't need to. I just don't like the idea of unsoftened food anyway because it's... It's who wants to eat those hard kernels and then you're so thirsty and then it swells up in your stomach and so I softened less food this morning though. And what I'm gonna do I need to get them I need to get them switched over to hard food before they go home because obviously they're gonna be getting hard food there. <clears throat> so it's also a good time to switch over to the new food I'm trying. So I didn't soften quite enough food this morning, and I'm just gonna put this hard new time on top. Probably by Tuesday we'll be Monday. We should be solid hard. Tuesday we should be solid new food. So let's let them out. Another thing I did was put the gate inward so they have to go around the gate. They kind of know that. Most of them just go under the gate, actually. And then this one, I also put the gate inward instead of outward. Because that has been proving a lot more challenging for them to go around that little section of the gate. Good boy, Tucker. Under that gate. Oh, you had no problem with those new kennels. for Foxy to be the last one in there. She's a pretty stubborn puppy. Pretty fiery. And I think that adds into her not wanting to go around the gate. She just wants to throw a fit instead of think things through. I think it's kind of a part of a stubborn nature. Well, they did great on that. It's their little popsicle course, so... That's good. Good puppies. As you can see, they don't care at all about all those cans and everything in there. They just, just make a little less space for them to get in. Otherwise, no issues whatsoever. Here's a litter box. As you can see, they're still making quite a mess outside. Maybe you can't really see anything that's darker like that. But you can see how much is in it. And that, and this is like four days, three or four days, so that in itself is just a huge help, even if they aren't using litter box full time. I haven't cleaned this pen in like three or four days, like I said, so if you weren't using litter box, you'd be cleaning it every day. So I really like the idea of litter pen, litter, litter training them, even if they don't use it 100% of the time. If they use it 50% of the time, it's a huge help, and I think they're using it about 80 or 90% of the time. This pen is all cleaned up now. Gate is back in that weird position. I also took out their heated bed yesterday. Just put straw in there so they don't need a heated bed. 
been bringing them with me when I do chores, or Ginger's been bringing them with, I don't know which. <laughs> Just whoever wants to come can come. There's always a few that stay home, make it halfway and run back home. Several that go all the way and then get bored and go back home. Just a few that stay the whole time. Hi, kitty. It's just good to get them out and get them to start new sights and new sounds, scary things, whatever. Looks like they're all coming today. Even Foxy. Foxy's one that usually stays home for some reason. Coming here, this is where most of them get sidetracked. Because it's so cool in here. And they all just stay in here and eat rabbit pebbles and cat food. Come on, Tucker, are you coming? Oh, hey, Gizmo. Jasper, come on. Good boy. Little Miss Peggy? No, that's not Peggy. Okay. I was wondering. Little Miss Peggy usually doesn't come. And they're all getting sidetracked. Nobody's gonna come. Oh well. Come on, Ginge. Come on, Jasper. 